Alright, so I know I said I was going to get some paint from Lowe's, but I just got back from Lowe's. And this is what I ended up getting. Um, I got this uh, Cabot, Cabot, I guess is how you say it. It's a premium wood finish. It's basically a stain. But the cool thing about this is, I noticed, it's it, it, you see that it says stain plus sealer. So it's like a two-in-one type thing, which is kind of convenient for me because I didn't want to have to get any polyurethane to go over the stain once I did it. And it says it's a one-step finish, and the color is smoked paprika. So that's what I'm going to use. But first, um, I got this stainable wood filler. And the reason I got this wood filler, and check it out, it says stain, stainable and paintable. Exterior and interior use, fast drying, sands easily, secure hold screws and nails, and resist shrinking and cracking, latex formula, soap and water cleanup. So I got this, uh, that way, you know, in the holes where I, I sunk it in, I can fill it up, you know, I can fill up this, this, these cracks, you know, you know, just kind of do some maintenance and stuff like that and kind of fill it up before I stain it real good. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on all that and uh, I'll be back. Oh, I'll do the intro. What's up YouTube? This is... Texas Backyard Gardener, the sun. <laughs> we got some brats on the grill. Uh, we got some more brats on the grill. We got yeah. some chicken. Yeah. But hey, that's not really what I wanted to show you. However, that is some good stuff. Um, what I did want to show you is this over here. Check this out. Yeah. So I got it stained. Um, it's drying right now, and oops, and I realized that the stain was um, it was gloss. And the only reason I realized that it was gloss, not as I was putting it on, but um, I went back and I was watching the raw footage of me explaining over there what kind of stain I got, and I saw on the canister it said gloss. No matter, whatever. All I needed was it to be stained and sealed. I got the two in one. It was actually, it was actually pretty easy to put on. But um, it was different than other stain. That uh, two in one stain, the stain plus sealing. I guess because it's got the sealant on there. But yeah, it's uh, this is it. It's all stained up. Probably like Jeremy. That's a that's a really garbage stain job. I don't know. It's not the greatest, but it it works and it's you know it did what I needed it to do. So I'm just letting it dry, probably for another hour or so. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like around 4.30 or 5 or something like that. I don't know. But um, I'll probably let it dry for another hour. I've got the hardware already for the fence. I got the hinges and then I got the latch thing. So I don't want to put the latch thing on yet or the hinges yet. Because I don't, I want to kind of line it up and go from there. And then I got to put uh, some pickets on it or whatever, and I don't have enough pickets, but um, I think I got like six pickets, and that's a lot wider than six pickets, so it's all good. But yeah, that's it, and uh, I'll be back in an hour after it dries. I may eat first, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, peace. All right, so... There's nothing over there. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> this guy. 
All right, so it's it's dry. dry You're in the way, enough. Ari. Actually, it is dry. But uh, now now we're gonna go ahead and hang it. Watch out, sweetie. Get out the Here, way, dog. I don't want to step on the ant pile. What? Is there an ant? Oh, there is an ant pile right there. Well, don't step on it. All right, so I got these uh, the hinges. And when I bought them, I didn't realize that one of them were curved and the other one was actually uh, 90 degrees. So I got two different hinges, but as my son would say, YOLO. And then I got this, uh, I got this little gate latch. But uh, we need to get this thing going. So first thing, I'm going to do two different types of... Uh, Oh, and I pissed off the ant pile down there. Good job. Right, sorry. So I got two different types size screws. I got the uh, two and a half inch screw. And I've got the uh, one and a half inch screw uh, deck screws that I'm going to be using. So three screws in each one. And I got to figure out how I want this thing to swing. If I want it to swing open, it's going to hit that raised bed so I need it to swing out so what I gotta do is I gotta somehow mount this bad boy like that that way it stops right there so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this actually Ari hey go hand me my red level over there that's a little bit of an overkill so I'm gonna use the uh, the two and a half for the top one. That big long red level. Yeah. Ooh. He's a red wasp. I do not like red wasp. And you jerked? Yeah, and I jerked. Pissed him off probably. And I'm standing next to you. Awesome. Appreciate it. Hey, go. You know what? Thanks, sorry. Hey, go, go hand me that drill bit right over there, on the uh, on the floor, on the ground. I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pre-drill some pilot holes. Sweetie, thank you. And I'm gonna drill this pilot hole kind of not straight in, but kind of at a slight angle. Hey Art, you should uh, stop missing with your Try this again. There we go. Okay. <laughs> 
there we go. It is finished. Finally. So, the gate's on. Um, just need to get the pickets going. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I mean, all this dirt that's down there isn't really, hasn't really leveled out the earth that well. But, um, that's fine. It don't matter. That's all good. I can always level it out at some point if it starts making the gate stuck or whatnot. But that gate's leveled out. Um, hopefully it'll stay like that for a while. And that hinge over there will keep it from dipping down. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I just need to get some pickets on there. Finish it up. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for uh, watching. Um, thank you for sticking with me on this uh, building a gate for the garden. And I think it's going to be a nice, nice addition because I'm going to stain the uh, I'm going to stain the uh, the pickets as well. All right, y'all. Till the next video. Peace. And don't forget to comment, give me a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe. Texas Backyard Gardener here, teaching you how to build a gate. Later.